Hello everyone, I am Amber. I'm the founder of Food Literacy Center and the most amazing thing literally just happened and I cannot wait to share it with you. So I am at our school, Leotato Floyd Elementary. I came, uh, we're back in school, kids are with us again. I came back uh, to pop in and check in on our classes and I introduced myself to our new after school partner who's the instructor overseeing the after school kids that we were partner with and turns out uh, I'm about to introduce you this is the craziest story you guys it is like the best day ever everybody this is Sarai <laughs> and Sarai we literally found out that we know each other because I used to be in food literacy about eight, nine years ago. So I was one of my students when I first started Food Literacy Center. I was flipping through photos in my phone from 2013 and she remembers all of her classmates. So it's just crazy. I totally remember Sarai. She was one of my awesome students. And here she is full circle in our program as an instructor at, for one of our after school partners. I can't even believe it. It's pretty amazing. Totally. I actually wrote my um, a couple of my college essays about food literacy, so they really impacted me. I still remember them all this all this time later through middle school, high school. So they're doing great work. Oh my gosh, that's great. Okay, so um, so we were trying to figure out like how you remembered, like um, so w one time we had um, a pizza oven and you remember we were like making pizzas on the playground yep what do you remember about that day um so what i remember most about that day is just the fact that they brought a pizza oven out because <laughs> you know you guys i'm sure you guys know what food literacy is doing they're in low-income neighborhoods i had never seen a pizza oven that big on a school <laughs> campus what we were having for lunch it was just you know throw it in the oven it all happened behind closed doors and when you're little you're not worried you just eat what's in front of you but they made us the pizza we saw it getting cooked we saw the process it was wonderful i still love cooking to this day i love this so much and so and because you guys got to you got like learned how to roll the dough so we had um we had chef a professional chef who had an oven adam peckle if you're out there chef michael tui if you're out there this was one of the students that you guys made pizza with so they brought their professional pizza oven out to the playground and they showed the kids how to roll the dough you got to pick your own toppings i remember and then they like got to see it go into the big giant pizza oven and come out and then we had a party <laughs> and um and then you were also telling me you remember a vegetable. Yes, yes. So <laughs> um, I had to write four essays for my college, you know, college interest essays. But one essay I wrote about how I wanted to make my own grocery store based off of, and uh, I framed it off of what I learned in food literacy. So the vegetable, it stuck with me all the way through. So I did food literacy when I was in the fifth grade, fourth, fifth grade. And I remember this vegetable all the way through 12th grade. I am telling you guys, it was stuck in my head. <laughs> it tasted like black licorice. And I remember that it looked like celery, but I knew it wasn't celery. <laughs> she just told me it was fennel. <laughs> so that just answered that question that I had for all that time. <laughs> and that's just how much I remembered that one vegetable. And then um, another thing that food literacy did, I remember is you guys brought different fruits and vegetables yep. to the school. That was the first time I had kumquats. Yeah. I still buy kumquats to this day. I love them. <laughs> I love kumquats. <laughs> That's amazing. So they That's are amazing. doing good work out here. And and so Sarai right now is uh, instructor for the after school program that we partner with at Leotato Floyd Elementary. And she got accepted and this fall she's taken off and going to college, where are you going? I'm going to UC Santa Cruz and I am ed I am majoring in economics, but specifically I want to give back and work in the same neighborhoods that I grew up in, specifically, especially on food deserts and the same things that food literacy is working on. This is too amazing. This literally is just happening like like that's why I had to pull out my camera and share it with you guys because 
I'm I'm just like over the moon. So uh, the other reason, so thank you, Sarai, for sharing your story. And um, and the other thing I wanted to show you is we're, we are out here at our school and we were gonna do this fruit and veggie cheer. How do you guys feel about the fruit and veggie cheer? All right, so um, we're gonna do this cheer that we do every time. We're so excited to be back. <laughs> So this is class socially distanced. Take the lead. Face this way. Face this way. Okay. Well, this way. This way. <laughs> so 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 happy we couldn't have had a better day we're so excited to have kids here i can't believe that one of my very first students is all grown up and heading off to college and wants to do this kind of work for a living my heart is full uh thank you to all of our donors for making this kind of moment possible over a decade you have supported us and look at full full circle your investments matter and they're truly making a difference i i i couldn't be more pleased so thanks you guys for for watching our good news today bye